So let's talk about baking maps in Modo. To begin with, let me just scale back and actually show you what we're working with. So what we're creating here is a tambourine. And as you can see, these get multiplied quite a few times, these brass pieces. And the problem I'm having is, is that there is way, way too many. As you can see, this, there's already 2,900 polygons just for this. We can use 2,009 for a, uh, an NPC character in a game. And if it's a mobile game, that needs to come down to at least five, 600. So when you think about relative data versus the actual usage, this is way too high. So what we're doing here is, is we're taking this, if I just quickly come here and select the tool that I need, and Shift H, that'll hide everything else. Make sure up is up. So what I want to do now is just take this high poly and then bake it down onto a low poly. So here's what the low poly uh, looks like now. As you can see, we don't need a lot of information down here. So wherever I can, uh, you know, collapse and, and save on vertices, I do that here. And I do the same here. Now the other thing we need to do is I actually did not create UVs for this. Uh, I have UVs for, yeah, as you can see, these UVs are are pretty horrible so if we go ahead and so we have this selected the good thing is 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 that because of how our low poly is is made up we can pretty much just planar project both sides and we should be straight or something else that we can, yeah we'll, we'll planar project there so if I come to our we can project from view We can unwrap because we have everything selected. So now we unwrap that side. And the great thing is, is because this side is literally the opposite side, we can unwrap that as well. Now you don't, it's not normally that easy to, to, to fix both of these, but this just ended up working out perfectly because of this already being a low poly. Now, because this isn't the only object that's going to be uh, baked, I'm going to need to actually fit this with the rest of the UV. But for now, I'm just going to I'm just going to take these and we're going to pack our UVs. I don't want any stretching. All right. So there goes our UVs packed. Like I said before, we do have other objects that need to be like this little tambourine that needs to actually be. Um, baked with this but for now we're, we're just going to focus on baking just these so now if I go ahead now that we actually have UVs I'm going to make sure that this is visible and so I have a few tools up here in your if you go into your account now it's actually on the Foundry's website you can actually download the baking UI um, toolkit and all it, all it really is just a a window for all the tools that are already here so I have final low, we, that's our target, and we want to do brass high. We want to select which UV we want to use. We want to use texture just in case you have multiples. Uh, output folder, you want to select somewhere to save it. So I'm just going to save it real quick. Now our output pattern is actually how the name is going to be outputted. You can actually you can put whatever you want. These are just values that uh, that Moto provides. If you just hover over the, the actual name, you can see what else you can give it. So width and height might be a, a good option. Uh, you know, that really depends on how you're saving out. If I go ahead now and use import bait and overwrite, uh, that'll allow me to to just quickly put this in back into our, our actually uh, if I come up here into our clip section. So the first thing I like to do is actually take this and preview the bake. Actually previewing in another window. So here goes our preview so you can see uh, you know kind of what's going on with our bake. And if you want to see a better uh, you know just a, a better quality you can come up. I like to go up to because I know I'm baking at normally I'm, I'm baking at 2048. I like to come in here and you know see at a 512 just so I have just a better view of what this is going to be. Uh, you can see we, we have a pretty decent edge um, where light will be able to be captured here. So I'm actually going to leave that. 
And the way you'll actually see that in Modo is, is first you have to actually bake it. You click bake and it'll actually bake our normal map, which is what we want. Alright, awesome. So now that our normal map is baked, if we actually come into here, we'll see here goes our, the normal map that we just created. You'll see, I actually didn't mention this, but you can choose an output format. I have it set to PNG, which is fine. Uh, you know, you may want to go with a TIFF or most likely a Targa, which holds the most information. And all we need to do now is, is let's select, I'm actually going to hide our, our brass. Let's select this now. I'm going to hit O and hide both our grid and our work plane. And I'm going to create a new material. And we're just going to call it Brass Norm. And we're going to go into our, our rendered tree. And with our Brass Norm selected, what I want to do now is, is I want to actually import an image. And you can do that by going to Add Layer, Image Map. And because we have it in our Clip Browser, we can just select Clip Browser. And I know it's this one, so you've seen, you know, I have a, a few of them I've been working on. Go to Clip Browser, and we get the normal map. Now, right away, you'll see that it's actually not the normal map the way we would expect it. It's actually just a diffuse color. So it's just taking our normal map and plopping it on top. So what we want to do here is just come over here to where you see Effect is. And we want to right-click and change the effect. So we, what we want to do is actually change it from a surface shading, and we want to choose normal map. And now there goes our normal map, as you can see as we get closer to it. Now, in comparison to the original, if we can just bring in our, our high poly, you can see how well this is actually placed. And from 1,000, from 100,000, down to 72 polys. And that's a quick way to bake normal maps in Modo.